Okay, guys. Last time I showed you this trick. I have a Chinese coin. It goes right here. Okay. I take a half dollar. And it joins right there. Okay. I'm going to paste both of them right here. One and two. Close my hand. It joins over there. One, two, and three. One more time. One, two, three. And it is joined over there. One, two, three, and four. How do we do this? Well, before we get into that, well, we use the fifth coin. But I'll get into how it's done in a second. I used to have a trick like this. You use two boxes that kind of fit over each other. And these were dice. These were all dice. This was a red dice, these were white dice. And you would vanish one, and it would appear inside joined with this one. Not like joined together, but they would join together inside. As in it would go with one, one with the other. Not connected. Just it would be with the other one. Okay? And so on and so forth. You would take and do the same thing and it would another one would join inside the box. And you would keep flipping it over and it would another one would join inside and join the different one. So this is my version of that, even though this one is very similar to another one. This one's similar to one I taught you last time, very similar. That's the only difference is that I'm using a different type of coin. So Basically what you're going to do is have a coin here, finger palmed, and place the uh, different coin there. I'm going to try to pass a palm like this. Okay. Classic palm the coin as you close this hand. Don't let the coins clink over here. Classic palm, pretend to toss. And then as you let, open your hand, sorry I was going to say that up, but as you open your hand, let the coins clink over here like this. Finger palm this one as you toss that one. So it looks like you tossed both coins. Finger palm this one again. Place one and two. And as you're doing that, make sure when you're doing the finger palm that they can't see through here, okay? Don't give them like tight. But make sure that they're not loose or anything, okay, like that. Make sure they're nice and together. You show the two coins there. Take another half dollar. So you're like this. You're like this. Close your hand. Classic palm again over here. Toss invisibly. Show the three coins over here. Finger palm this one as you toss the other two. Place one, two, three, and be careful again not to show the finger palm one. Same exact thing. Press palm here, kind of toss. And you can either hand these coins out as you step forward, back pocketing the last coin, placing the last coin in your back pocket, or you can toss these over there and take a step in with the other foot that you're handing the coins out with with the hand and back pocket in the other back pocket over here with the other coin. Your choice. That way you can end clean and show one, two, three, four from one hand to the other. This next trick I'm not going to tell you how to do because it is my creation. See you in a second. Hey guys, Magical Aaron again. 
So, I'm going to let you know I am the creator of this trick. And I want you to watch the trick. Don't look at my awesome shirt. I will show it to you in just a second before I do the trick so you are focused on the trick. I used several methods from other tricks that I've learned in the past to create this trick. So I am the creator and I will not be giving away the secret. Here is the distraction in three, two, one. Look at the distraction! Okay. If you need to pause the video to continue the distraction, please do so. Trick starts off like this. Show your hands empty. Go looking for a coin. Maybe it's in the other pocket. There we go. A half dollar, any coin can be used. Goes here. And that is called the rope tug vanish. It cannot be found anywhere but here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.